64-year-old Toshio Nagakita used to be wheelchair-bound, but now he's training to walk using a robotic leg. It picks up signals sent from his brain to his muscles and helps him move. Now he can almost walk without support. I'm more stable now. I still use a cane, but little by little my balance and the rhythm with which I walk are improving. At Cyberdyne, they are inspired by the world of science fiction, but their technology is science fact, and it's increasingly useful in a country with an ageing population. The population of aged person increases day by day, and now, so we should prepare the, such kind of technology for such kind of aged, aged society. While the world's population is approaching 7 billion, Japan's population is declining and companies are competing to come up with new technologies to help the elderly. Panasonic's latest invention is this robotic bed, which can transform itself into a moving chair, allowing a disabled person to get around at night. Thanks to robot technology, it's possible for people to be more and more independent. A market for this technology is developing not only in Japan, but in the rest of the world. 23% of Japanese are aged over 65, and by 2055 it will be more than 40%. But not all of the elderly are using the latest technology. In Tokyo, every day hundreds of elderly people go to wash the Togenuki, a Buddhist statue which is thought to relieve aches and pains. <laughs>